Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 1. For the number 2645, find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square. Okay. First, let's try to see whether 2645 is a perfect square or not. So for that, what we would do, we would do its prime factorization. So when you do its prime factorization, the, the smallest prime number that divides it completely is 5. So 5 into 5, 29 is 2645. Then the next smallest prime number would be 23. So 23 into 23 is 529 and then 23 into 1 is this. So this can be written as 2645 is equal to 5 into 23 into 23. So you see 5 do, does not exist in pairs but 23 exists in pairs. So we can write it as 5 into 23 square. So now what do you see? Do you think that 2645 is a perfect square? No, it is not because you cannot write it as square of a single number because 5 exists singly. So then what should we do? What can we do to get a perfect square from this? Because the question asks, what is the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square? So what is that extra thing because of which it is not a perfect square? 5 is that extra thing. So if we divide it by 5, then 5 and 5 will get cancelled out. So this will become a perfect square. Therefore, it should be divided by 5. Now what happens if you divide it by 5? So the moment you divide it by 5, it becomes 23 square, right? So 23 square is equal to how much? This would be equal to 529. So therefore, root over 529 is equal to 23. So this 23 is the square root of the new square. The new square is 529. Question number 2. The students of class 8 of a school donated rupees 2401 in all for Prime Minister's National Relief Fund. Each student donated as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Find the number of students in the class. So we do not know the number of students in the class. We also do not know how much money each of them donated. But we know that the amount that each donated is equal to the total number of students in the class. So let us assume that total number of students in the class is equal to x. So if total number of students is x, then the donation per student is how much? So donation per student is also equal to x. So that is also rupees x. So what would be the total donation? So the total donation that gets collected will be equal to rupees x into x, x is each student's donation multiplied by the number of students who donated. But according to the question, the total donation is rupees 2401. So basically x into x is equal to 2401. So x into x would be x square is equal to 2401. So what would be the value of x? x will be equal to square root of 2401. So how do we find the square root? So for that we will do prime factorization. So it gets divided by 7, 7 into 343, then again 7 into 49, then again 7 into 7. So therefore 2401 can be written as 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. That is equal to 7 square into 7 square which is equal to 7 into 7 square. So 2401 is equal to 49 square. Therefore, root over 2401 is equal to 49. So therefore, there are 49 students in the class. Question number 3. Find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 4, 9 and 10. So a number that is divisible by each of these numbers, what, what would that number be? So that number will be a multiple of each of these numbers. So basically that number will be a common multiple of 4, 9 and 10. So you want the smallest number. So basically we need to calculate the least common multiple of 4, 9 and 10. So that is LCM of 
4, 9 and 10. So how do we find LCM? Again, we have learned all of this. You want to revise, go back to the mathematics videos of class 6. So this will get divided by 2. So this is 5. Then again, this is 2, 1 is a 2. This is 9. This is 5. Then 5. And then 9. So the LCM will be equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 9 that is equal to 180. So 180 is the least common multiple. But the question is, so the question asks us to find out the smallest square number that is divisible by all of these. So we know that this is the smallest number which is divisible by all of these. But is this a square number? So is 180, 180 a square number? So is it a perfect square? So that is something we have to find out. So let us try, try to find its square root. Now you prime factorize it. So this is 2 into 90, 2 into 45, 3 into 15, 3, 5, so 15. So therefore 180 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So this can be written as 2 square into 3 square into 5. So is this a perfect square? No, this is not a perfect square. So what should you do to get the nearest perfect square of this? So in order to get the nearest perfect square, let us multiply this by 5. Because 5 is that extra part because of which this is not a, a square number. So, so now we have two conditions. We have to make it a perfect square and we also need to make that number divisible by 4, 9 and 10. So therefore we multiply by 5. So what happens? This becomes 180 into 5 that is 2 square into 3 square into 5 square. So this actually becomes 2 into 3 into 5 whole square that is 30 whole square which is equal to 900. Therefore 900 is the smallest square number that is divisible by 4, 9 and 10. Question number 4. For the number 768, find the smallest whole number by which it should be multiplied so as to get a perfect square number. Okay, so let's first factorize 768. So 2 into 384, then 2, 9, 2 into 19 into 2. So this is 192, then again 2 9s are 18, 2 6s are 12, then 2 4s are 8, 2 8s are 16, 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6. So therefore 768 can be written as 2 into 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 2. So 8 times 2 into 3. So now you put the 2s in pairs. So this becomes 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 2 square into 3. So this 3 is an extra part because of which 768 is not a whole, uh, not a square number. So what is that number by which it should be multiplied? So if you may multiply it by 3, then what will happen? This 3 will also become 3 square. So therefore it would become a perfect square. Therefore it should be multiplied by 3. So when you multiply it by 3, it becomes 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 square. That is equal to 2 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16, 3 is a 48. So 48 whole square is equal to this side it will be 768 into 3, which is equal to 2304. So therefore we can say square root of 2304 is equal to 48. So now this method that is the prime factorization method looks quite suitable to find out square roots. But again this method also becomes sometimes very difficult when we are dealing with larger numbers. So therefore we have another option that is option 3 which is called the division method to find out square roots. So in order to understand the division method before that we need to get some idea about the 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.